This video is my introduction to fractions. What is a fraction? It's just a bit of something. We'll have a look and see what we mean by one quarter pizza. You can see here we've got a pizza that's been sliced into four pieces. So that's what the four means. It's been sliced into four pieces. Now if you look at the top number here, this means that we have the one piece. So we haven't got all four pieces, we only have one piece. So that's what we mean by a quarter, one out of four, or one quarter out of the four quarters. Now here we'll have one for you to try could you see if you can write down what fraction we've got here? Press pause and write down the fraction of the pizza that we have here. The pizza is sliced into three pieces. So that means we've got a three on the bottom, which states the number of pieces. And there is only one piece that we've got. So we've got one piece, so we've got one third. So if we look at the back, you'll see we have one third out of three thirds. We'll now look at another fraction of a pizza that we've got here. Now, if we look at this pizza, you'll see that this pizza has been cut into one, two, three, four, five, six pieces. So it's cut into six pieces, so it's got a six in the bottom, which says the amount of pieces. How many are we left with? We've got one, two, three, four, five pieces. So that means we've got five pieces out of the six. So the number of pieces that we've still got goes on the top. So we've got five, six. If we look on the back, you'll see out of the six, six that we could have had, we're left with five six. So we've got five sixth out of the six six. So what I'd like you to look at now is this one here. And could you see if you can write down this fraction? Press pause and do the fraction. This time the pizza is sliced into four pieces, so the bottom number is four, and we have three of the pieces, so the top number is three. If we have a look, what we've got is three of the quarters out of the four quarters, so we have three quarters. We'll now have a, a look at a pizza strip. So in this pizza strip, if you count the number, we have a total of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we have seven pizzas in a whole strip, so the bottom number is seven. How many pieces have we actually got? We've got one, two, three, four. So we have got four out of seven. So what we've got is four of the sevenths out of the seven sevenths. So we've got four sevenths. So here is one. I would like you to try, so pe press pause and write down the fraction that we have here. Same as in the last question, the pizza strip is, is cut into one, two, three, four, five, six, seven pieces. So it's sliced into seven pieces, so the bottom number is seven. We have got two pieces, so the top number is two. So what we have is two sevenths out of the whole seven sevenths. We've got two sevenths. 
Now for a little test. Look at these examples. Press pause and write down each of the fractions we have. If you got any of the fractions wrong, continue watching the video. If you got them all right, you're ready to move on. Click on the adding fractions video to move on to adding fractions. In the first example in the test, we have one sixth because we have one out of the six. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six pieces in a whole pizza. So it's out of six pieces for the whole pizza and we have one of them. So that's all it is. It's in sixth. We've got one sixth and there are six sixths all together. So there's six sixths. So the six is at the bottom and we've got one of them. So it's one sixth. Now, Try a similar one yourself. Here's the one to try. So press pause and try this one. In this example, we have got three pieces all together in a full pizza. So the bottom number must be three and we have still got one piece so the amount of pieces left is one so we have one third of a pizza we've got one of the thirds out of three thirds now we'll move on now to the second question in the mini test and in the second question in the mini test we had this one, so what have we got here? We've got five pieces all together, one, two, three, four, five. So the whole pizza's got five pieces in, so the bottom number is five. That's what it's out of. And the number of pieces we've got is one, two, three, four. We've got four pieces, so we've got four out of five, so it's four. Fifth. If we look at the other side, in the fifths, we've got four of the fifths out of five fifths. We've got four fifths out of five fifths, four fifths. Now, here's one for you to have a look at yourselves. If you could look at this one. So, as usual, if you press pause and try this one. In this example, we've got one, two, three pieces all together in a whole pizza. So the number at the bottom is three. And the number that we still have is one, two, is two. So we've got two thirds. If you look at the backs, you'll see that we've got two thirds out of three thirds. So we've got two of them out of three two-thirds. Now, the last question in the mini-test was on a pizza strip. So, if we look at the pizza strip and see how many there is in a whole pizza strip, we go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So, it's seven. And how many have we still got? One, two, three. So, we've still got three out of seven. So the fraction is three sevenths. If we take a look, we've got seven sevenths all together in a whole pizza, and the amount we've got left is three. So we've got three sevenths. Now, the one I'd like you to do now is this one. So we've got another two, and could you Press pause and do this example. In this example, 
Again, it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we have seven pieces in a whole pizza strip. And the number that we've got left is one, two, three, four, five. So we have five out of seven. So it's five sevenths. So all the pieces are sevenths. So what we've got is one, two, three, four, five pieces out of the seventh. So with five sevenths out of the seventh seventh, it's five out of seven. Now here is the second mini test. Press pause and write down the fractions that we have here. If you got any of them wrong, Watch the video again. If you got them all right, then you're ready to move on to adding fractions.